But Newt Gingrich has been maintaining that his first divorce was not as the press is painting it. There's the, you know, the stories about how he served divorce papers as his wife was recovering from cancer surgery. And he says, oh, no, 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 that is outrageous. No, uh, in fact, my wife wanted to divorce me. What could I do? Well, you know. Uh, now, he leaves out the part that he was having an affair with a staffer who was 28 years old at the time that he says his wife is asking for divorce. But CNN has dug into the story, and by the way, investigative reporting from CNN, what the hell's going on here? Credit where credit is due. They actually went and found the old records. And, uh, and it's Alan Duke, by the way, the reporter on this. And uh, guess what they found? Yeah, that's not really what the divorce papers say. Here's quote number one. Jackie Batley uh, Gingrich at the time said, defendant shows that she has adequate and ample grounds for divorce, but that she does not desire one at this time. So, meaning, believe me, I got a lot of reasons to divorce this some of my bitch, right? But I'm not going to, I don't desire one. But wait, Nude, I thought you said she's the one that asked for the divorce. This is actually the papers, the legal papers filed at the time about the divorce. It continues. Here's what she also says, through her lawyers, obviously. Although defendant, referring to herself, does not admit that this marriage is irretrievably broken, defendant has been hopeful that an arrangement for temporary support of defendant and the two minor daughters of the parties could be mutually agreed upon with the intervention of this court. All efforts to date have been unsuccessful. You know what that means? That means uh, he's not even paying child support, uh, which is true. Uh, he wasn't for a while, right? He's having sex with a 28-year-old staffer. He's cheating on her. She says, you got two kids at home. You want to pay the bills for that? They go back to Carrollton, Georgia. Literally, the lights are not on. The heat is not on. And he won't pay the bills. What winds up happening is this pisses off a lot of his former supporters there. A lot of his aides and the guys who used to work for him. One of those guys is Leonard Kip Carter. He was a former close Gingrich friend. He eventually stopped being Gingrich's friend over how badly he mistreated his first wife. Apparently, Gingrich told them this about his uh, first wife. You know and I know that she's not young enough or pretty enough to be the wife of a president. Oh, oh, Jesus Christ, man. Can anyone be more of a pig? And so this Kip Carter was like, ah, oh, end of this. I can't, this guy is way out of bounds, man. And he stopped supporting Gingrich, and he, and he literally stopped being his friend. Uh, and now, Jackie Batley Gingrich, the first wife, has not spoken much of, uh, of that time. And she doesn't really want to charge it back up because she's got two daughters with him. And they actually even uh, you know, are supporting him now and working on his campaign, etc. But in 1985, she did talk to the Washington Post. And uh, here's what she said at the time, quote three. He can say that we had been talking about it for 10 years. But the truth is that it came as a complete surprise. So the Newt Gingrich uh, talking point that, oh, I, me, I didn't ask for the divorce. She asked for the divorce is totally, utterly untrue. Uh, the first wife's put in her uh, legal filings at the time saying, I do not desire a divorce. And I would like him, if we're ever going to have one, I should, he should at least pay for the kids. We got no heat in here. They had to go to church to get food. I mean, they were literally hungry. They, they didn't have anywhere to get food, and the local church had to help them out, okay? And she said, as far as the divorce, she said when he actually told me that he wanted a divorce, it came as a complete surprise. Probably what also came as a complete surprise was that he was screwing the 28-year-old staffer, which, by the way, 19 years later, he also surprised by saying, oh, you know what? I'm now screwing a younger staffer. Sorry, I'm divorcing you, and I'm moving on to wife number three, who, which was mistress number two, which is now his current wife, Calista Gingrich. That's how Newt rolls, man. Apparently, he's found someone that he feels is young and attractive enough to be the wife of the president.